Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kim and thank you so much for taking the time to watch today's video. In today's video, I will be doing a step-by-step -step guide as to how you can go ahead and create this soft glam eye makeup look. Now this look is very easy and simple to do and you could go ahead and wear this look for any party, functions or even for a wedding. Now if you are new here, please do take a moment and subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Now without wasting much time, let's get into the video. Now here I am starting off with the eyeshadow guard and I am applying it to the corner of my eye. You can get these eyeshadow guards easily on Amazon. Now using the Swiss Beauty Concealer in the shade 01 Fair, I am going to apply this on my eyelids as a base. Now here if you have an eyeshadow primer, you could certainly go ahead and use that or else use a light shade concealer as a base. With the help of a small flat brush, I will be applying the concealer all over my eyelids and I will be blending it out with a sponge. This step is called prepping your eyes before you start your eye makeup. Now in order to set the base, I am using the Krylon Translucent Powder and I will be lightly dabbing it on top of my eyelids so that the concealer is nice and set. If you are using an eyeshadow primer here, you will avoid this step. Now taking the Makeup Revolution palette in the shade Neutral 2, I will be taking a mix of this peach and brown shade and applying it on top of my crease line. Using a quite a big uh, fluffy brush, I will be taking a little of the two colors and I will be placing it from the outer corner to the inner corner of my eyes, moving in circular motions. Now taking a little smaller fluffy brush, I am going to take a mix of these two pink shades and I will be applying it on my crease line. And again, I will be moving in circular motion in order to blend it well. Now again taking a bigger fluffy brush, the one that I used earlier, I'm just going ahead and blending the color above my crease line and on my crease line so that there's a smooth transition and there are no harsh lines visible. Now taking the light pinkish shade from this palette, it's a shimmer shade and I'm using a small flat brush. I will be applying this on the inner corner of my eye. Now in order for the pigmentation to show more on the eyelid, here's a small tip. Wet your brush with a fixing spray or a setting spray and uh, just give it one spray, that should be enough. Dip it in your eyeshadow and then apply it. You will see that the pigmentation is much more intense as compared to if you apply it with a dry brush. As you can see here, I have applied this shimmer only towards the as an inner corner of my eyelids. Now using this uh, copperish shimmer shade from uh, Huda Beauty palette, I will be applying this on the middle section of my eyelid. Now, I'll be using my ring finger for this as I do not want to apply this with a brush. And when you apply shimmer shades with, the, with your finger, the pigment payoff is much more intense as compared to a brush. 
Now in order to make this eye makeup look a little neat, I am going to use a small flat brush. I am moving along the edge to tidy everything up to give it a more neater look. Now using a pencil brush, I am going to take this dark brown and a light brown shade. I am going to mix this two and then apply it on the outer corner of my eye. Now as you can see here, by using the eyeshadow cards, it is actually guiding me to create that nice wing shape towards the outer corner of my eyes. In case if you do not have an eyeshadow card, you could also use a sticky tape on the outer corner of your eyes in order to give it a lifted look. Now using a clean fluffy brush, I am just going through to blend it all over the edges in order to cut out any harsh lines and make everything look seamlessly blended. Again over here I am using small circular motion and it will make the blending look quite soft. Now here I am using the small eye pencil brush and I will also be using this coal from Sugar Cosmetics and I will be smudging it on my upper lash line. Now here I am drawing a line close to my lash line. Now you do not need to be very precise because in the end we are going to smudge it out. But yes try to make sure that it is very close to your lash line. If you notice over here, I have still left my eyeshadow guards on. Now that is in order, uh, with the help of these eyeshadow guards, I am going to create a nice wing with the pencil coat and will be smudging it. Now with the bigger eyeshadow pencil brush, I am going ahead and I am applying the brown shade on my lower lash line. Now once I have applied the eyeshadow on the lower lash line it's time to apply the glue now it's time to apply the glitter and for the glitter i have chosen the glow game glitter and it comes in a nice star with four uh, glitters in it it could be customized as for whichever color you want and for the glue i'm using the eye magic glitter glue now I'm going to apply the glue on my center of my eyelid, the same place where I had applied the copper shade shimmer eyeshadow. And for the sparkles I have used a copper shade. You could also use a golden glitter over here and that's absolutely fine but I have chosen to use copper color glitter. Now with the help of a fluffy brush, I have picked up some glitter on the brush and I am just using it in patting motion only in the center of my eyelid. Now in order to line my lower waterline, I am using the Revlon Color Stay Kajal in the shade Hot Fudge and I will be applying this on my lower lash line. For the false eyelashes, I will be using the Pack Cosmetic Eyelashes. Uh, these are taper eyelashes and they are in the number 56 now before that i'm going to first curl my lashes and apply some mascara for mascara i have used the sivana colors mascara and i'm going to concentrate more on the uh, upper lashes and then on the apply it on my bottom lashes Now using the cuffs and lashes uh, lash glue, I am going to use this and apply my false lash. And now taking this another pencil brush, I am going to highlight my brow bone and the inner corner of my eye. The highlighter that I have used here is, is a Maybelline Master Chrome Highlighter. Mm -hmm. 
and this is the final look. I hope you found this video helpful and please do like, share and subscribe to my channel and also comment down below on how you like this look. If you do decide to recreate this look with the colors of your choice, you could surely do that. And do not forget to tag me in my social media, links are given down below in the description box. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I will see you all in my next video. Goodbye.